D. McDonald Designs Stained Glass Coloring Book 4. For adults and gifted children. Cover colored Sudan. The back of the book. This book was published in 2018. And let's take a look inside. The difference between this book and my newer books. This book does not have line art in it. It is stained glass only. Looks like stained glass because it is stained glass. And we have 174 pages divided by two because the backs are single sided. 1.15 pounds of paper. The paper. <clears throat> this book includes the stained glass image with all the texture behind it. It is extremely easy to color it with gel highlighters, and I highly recommend the Fila gel highlighters. The big 24 packet gives you double. It's the best bang for your buck, and I love a big buck bang. So here you have two chances in case you screw up, because I looked at it and said, I don't know. I didn't know what I was doing then when, with the stained glass. I've been doing this now for years. And then here is without, and I didn't put a sheet of paper and some of the blue bled through. So you want to put a piece of paper behind it. I now back my pages with black. That cuts out a lot of that bleed through. Makes it a little bit nicer on the back. And then I do somewhere in there. Oh, look at her. How bright and cheerful. So I do like the stained glass pages, but I also like the line art. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, butterfly. 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 Butterfly without the stained glass. And I just, there's so many ways of coloring something simple. So many color combinations. So, yes, you get duplicate pages. The price would not go down if I didn't put the extra pages in. People complain about it. It's like, are you kidding me? If, you, if, if nothing else, you don't have to put a sheet of paper behind it. You just let it bleed right through if you want. Because if you don't intend to color it over and over again, then you have buffer pages. Yeah, you do. And um, you might want to share and you might screw it up. So I... I totally like to play around in my books. I don't just look at it and go, oh, I'm going to color it this way and this way only. Here, I left the little balls blank to different colors. Here, I decided to go with hot pink. I changed it up. So I wanted a couple. I, I thought she was kind of cute, and I didn't know what I was doing with her. Then I played around with her, and um, I eventually added some clothing to her, you know, whatever. I don't know. She's a fairy. Um, I'm not sure if this one comes in the really big book where I finally went. I just did a grayscale only of all of these books in one book. Some of the pictures didn't make it in if I really wasn't happy with the way they colored. Now, look at this. Without the stained glass, stunning. So it's a little bit of this and a little bit of that, a little bit of this and a little bit of that, and plenty of opportunity to screw up. I really wasn't sure what I was going to do with the rooster. So the rooster has quite a few pages because I had absolutely no confidence that I'd figure out what to do with this rooster. I also like leaving some of the pages blank for when I get something new to color with. And then I can go through a book and say, oh, I'm glad I saved a couple pages because I want to try whatever I, I, whatever, whether it's crayons, markers, anything new they come out with, chalk, um, you have lots of opportunity to color it one way and color it a different way. And I, I like choices. Choices to me are great. And you can see, I didn't color every page. I pay the same price for my books. So I'm, like I said, it's going to be what it's going to be. Here are the roosters facing each other so then I go to the back of the book and I start playing around these you could cut apart um, some people don't know this but it's a glue bound book which means you just heat the spine up a little bit get it nice and warm and the cover will peel right off and page after page can come apart and these are really a nice size for framing here the design in the front 
I put two on a page. Played around with it because I do like playing around with what I can do. The two fairies looking at each other. Double butterflies. Two, two, two. I also have grandchildren, and these books will go to them someday. They can all divide them up or not. Give them away. I don't care. But I wanted to leave some pages blank for other people to color as well. I also forgot to do this. You should always sign your work. No matter what, sign it. Put the date on it. Over the years, you're going to go back and say, wow, I really didn't know what I was doing then. Or, oh, I got lucky on that one. Put, put your name on it. And put the date on it. I had an aunt who told me that, and sometimes I remember, and sometimes I'm just glad to kind of be done. <laughs> and, you know, I, I color while I listen to the news, while I listen to people debate silly things. I like to color. It gives me something to do with my hands while I'm listening. Um, 2018, I colored that. Tried it in blue, tried it in multiple colors, and I had another chance. And here, I just let the I let the marker bleed through because I, I I like the speckle look, but I also didn't think I was going to come back and do any more. Because butterflies aren't my thing, but other people like them. I love doing this fairy lady. She was fun to do. Um, this this ball she's sitting on to try to uh, achieve a translucent look, and I didn't have the um, feelers back then, so. Unfortunately, I have to order more because I'm out of the blues. I go through the blues, even though I say I'm not going to. I always go through the blues really fast. I love the light blue. The dark blue, I, I don't go through as quickly. And there's a bleed through that I did on purpose. So I get I get two, two on there. So I must have done this one with marker. You know what? It turned out pretty good with marker. You want to use a light color. The darker you get the less likely the, the texture is going to bleed through. So that's it on this book, 2018, book four. I will return to do book three. This is all going to be backwards. I'm going from the back to the front so that hopefully uh, it'll make sense when I lay it out. And I'm finished on YouTube with these books. I have so many books to do this with, and I, I don't like doing this. <laughs> I love creating the books. I don't like doing this. However, people are getting confused between the, the the newer stained glass and my starting stained glass book. So I had to do this today. Oh, please like, share, subscribe, and buy if you can. And I thank you very much.